Second, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Yeah. Just a place. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Talking about the Antichrist. Okay, okay. Let, let, I will go there now. Now it says, now yes, we yes. beseech you, yeah, now we beseech you, brethren, by okay. the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our mm -hmm. gathering together unto you, unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled in, either by spirits, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Lest no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he he has got seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Now, sir, I think he's talking about the Antichrist, right? Absolutely, sure. Yes. Okay. Now, so uh, uh, what, what does it place? What does it mean? Is it saying that uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ will not come? X until what is the meaning of this falling away? What does that mean? That this falling away first? Uh, the falling away, I think. Uh, uh, I think there's a there's a Greek word for the falling away. Uh, I'm trying to remember the the actual Greek word. The, the actual Greek word for the falling away. Uh, but um, but what it means is is, is that. The, that uh, the thing will not happen until people have grossly abandoned the true gospel, the the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, the second coming will not come until that time. Yes, that the, the yes, the, the the second coming will not come until people have uh, have jettisoned, they've 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 abandoned the the gospel that when you I think what the Bible is saying is that you see you see um, when when the when the disciples were around after the death of Christ are you yes, with sir. me yes, sir. they were they were very keen that people will not be deceived about wrong doctrines. They were the, the, their major preoccupation, apart from um, evangelizing the unsaved. Their major preoccupation, their, their next major preoccupation, really, if not the first, in, in fact, was that uh, wrong doctrines would not seep into the church. M much of uh, much of the epistles. The writings of Paul and of Peter, of Jude, of John. Are you with me? They were yes. they were about uh, they were about waking people up to the uh, to this to the subtle nature of the encroachment of wrong doctrines, wrong teachings in in the church. Much of uh, much of much of their time was spent warning warning believers of the insidious uh, you understand encroachment yes, of yes, of, uh, of wrong teachings wrong teachings about about the person of Christ for example yes, sir. wrong teachings that uh, flesh for example yes sir. That uh, that you, you know the flesh the flesh has no value the, the value of the flesh is to commit sin flesh itself yes. is sinful yes, sir. and therefore there was no there was no reason that Christ could have shared out of a sinful thing so Christ did not share uh, part of a, a part a part of a sinful thing because the issue was not that men are sinful. The issue was that their flesh itself was sinful. Everything, every, everything physical was sinful. Therefore, Christ, when he was around, was not physical. 
you, you understand? He, he was, yeah. yeah, that's part of the, that, that was part of the teaching of, uh, mm. of the, of the occult at that time, that if anything was good, then it was spirits that were good. It, it, you, have, you have to be only in the spirit. Mm. You understand? So, which by implication, they have denied the efficacy of the blood of Christ because they said that the blood of Christ never existed because Christ yeah, never had saying. body, never had yeah. physical body. That's what you're saying, yeah. That, that is the implication. Are you with me? Yes, sir. That is about the person of Christ. They denied the efficacy of the sacrifice of Christ. You understand? Yes, sir. They, den they denied many things that are written in the Bible. And the thing has continued all along, all along, that sin was actually not the most important issue. It, it, this one, this one is of recent. The, the 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 teaching that sin is not the most important thing in life. Are you with me? The yes, most sir. important thing is poverty. Is material poverty and healing? Yes. The most important thing is that you, you are economically disadvantaged. You are financially incapable. And possibly you have a headache. If those ones are taken care of, you are already in heaven. That's what's Austin. Just Austin, so you said your best life now. Aha, uh -huh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Wherever you see your best life, your best life now. Uh, how to read your best day has arrived. Uh, yes, um, um, th th this is this is how you this is how you make it in life. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. All those teachings, those some of them are recent. But the, when I say recent, I mean I mean they are only about one fifty years old. That's what I mean by being recent. Yeah, it's still very recent. You understand. Yeah, I'm not saying that they started uh, 10 years yesterday. ago. Yeah. <laughs> or yesterday, no. Yeah. So there have been there have been attacks into the uh, insidious attacks right in the church. The devil has been doing some massive work, really. And that is that the issue is not just to persecute Christians from outside. The devil knew that Christianity will not be defeated by persecution from outside. The thing that will defeat Christianity is to be corrupted from inside. Mm. That is that is what you have. Are you with me? In yes, uh, in verse three and verse four of uh, Second Corinthians chapter two. Second Thessalonians. Yeah. So sorry, second Thessalonians chapter two. Thessalonians. What yes, we sir. what we do Christianity in? It's, it's subversion from inside. Yeah. It's not persecution from outside. From outside, yeah. Yes, that is what the Bible, that is what God is telling you in the second Corinthians, second Thessalonians chapter two. Mm. I that think because they have way. tried, yeah, they have tried so much to persecute Christians right from the early. Let early me tell you. Let me church. tell you something. Think, Let me tell you something. Nothing, nothing has destroyed Christianity than the appearance of David Oedepo in Nigeria. Yeah. Nothing has, nothing has destroyed Christianity than the appearance of Idahosa. Hmm. Nothing has destroyed Christianity than the appearance of the Dim Christian Church of God. Nothing has destroyed Christianity than the appearance of Chris Oyakilome. Hmm. Nothing has destroyed Christianity than the appearance of Kenneth Higgins. That's their grandfather. Yes. Nothing in the whole earth. Nothing has destroyed Christianity, true Christianity, than the appearance of Kenneth Higgins and his followers. Because, you see, when you are talking of evangelical Christianity, when you are talking of people who say that they are Bible believing Christianity Christians, are you with me? Yes, these sir. people, these people immediately jump into the head of the queue. 
They say, yes, 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 we are the born again people. You, you, know, they use the, you, you know they use the phrase born again. Yes. You, you know they say that they are born again. You know they say that they are Bible believers. Yes, sir. But virtually immediately they tell you that the Bible really, basically speaking, the Bible is about money. And it's about your health. And that there's really nothing big that what, what they teach in the old court is the same thing that the Bible teaches. The only thing is that it teaches it in its own part, in its own peculiar style. So if in the old court, if in the old court, they say that your mouth determines your wealth. If that is what they say in the old court, it's the same thing in Christianity. The only thing is that when you say it in Christianity, you just put in Jesus' name to cover it up. But that there's no, no difference. So people are seeing visions now, nowadays. Are you with me? They say, yes, that, they say that God has spoken to them and, they are, and, and has called them specially in order to, to expel poverty from Africans, that that is the special message that God gave mm. to them after are, 18 hours are, of fishing. Uh, those are people that come to see the apostles with a special message for the body of yes. Christ. Yes, that the special message, the special message is now purely financial, it's economic. Are you with me? Mm. To, a, to a large extent, they are true. To, to one extent, not to a large extent, to one extent, they are true. You know the extent in which they are true? The, doctrine, the doctrine has been validated by their, by their own jets. <laughs> That's the proof that what they are saying is true today. That is the proof that, that yeah. what they are saying is correct. You now have a situation where, where the pastor is richer than every all the members of the church combined. To get ahead, yes. And and people are not uh, waking themselves up that there's there's an anomaly in what we are seeing. You know? There's something that that does not gel. That this thing does not look like Christianity. A situation where where the pastor is richer than all the members of the church combined. Right. This is a special kind of Christianity. And can we get an example of such Christianity anywhere in the Bible? That is the only way that the Bible speaks about in verse 3, in verse uh, mm. chapter 2, verse 3. Mm. Mm. That the, 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 you, you see, People will be deceived to such an extent. Are you with me? Yes, Let me tell you, you see, when I say something, I generally like to cast people's minds back. Any of them that has read some level of history, they should ask themselves, for the last uh, 1,900 years of Christian history, whether there has been any group of true Christians where the pastor was richer than all the members of the church combined. Combined. All. All of them combined. They even say it is sinful to be poor. You say it's because of... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is. It is. It is. The only thing that they have forgotten to put the rider. There's a small rider on that, uh, on that statement you have just made. Particularly for the pastor. <laughs> yes. Mm. It is sinful for the pastor to be poor. Mm. And somebody like uh, Benny Hinn actually come, you know, the guy is so shameless. And he says that uh, if he is poor, it means that the members of his church will be will be far poorer. They, they, it means that they cannot be rich. In fact, that, that is his statement. Because God cannot cannot, Bennett, cannot uh, bless the members of the church. 
above him. Before he blesses him. Yeah. I, I don't think like that. He said he, he said and he has bad news. You see, you see, you see, you see, sorry for the distraction, but it's really not a distraction. That is the truth. It's not a distraction, sorry. It's the truth. Yes, it's the truth. So the church is actually now set up for the self-aggrandizement of the pastor. They have now set up uh, rules by which, you know, January is coming. There are churches now, nowadays in Nigeria, and in many parts of the world, that they will tell you that the first fruit of the year belongs to the pastor. Your January no. salary. Your January salary mm. belongs to the GO. In more than ninety percent, in more than ninety percent of churches now, that's what they do. Uh -huh. First fruit. Okay. So you so tell me, tell me, tell me. I mean, see, this is is is, is it not simple mathematics? This is simple arithmetic. Just most simple most arithmetic. Market. Yeah. Yes. There's nothing different between this one and MMM. It's just the same thing, different name. This different one name. is more than MMM. Because this, because this one, this one, they are using the name of God to defraud people of their money. They are telling them that it was God that made the rule that you should give your January salary to to that geo. So tell me why that geo will not be will not be stupendously rich. Tell me why that geo will ever retire. On what basis would you think he will retire? If he die, if he die in ministry, eh? <laughs> he, he will not only die in ministry. He will bequeath the post to his son. Exactly, that's what they do now. TDGs has uh, given the scepter. That's what they call uh -huh. it. The scepter to his daughter, to his daughter now. And <laughs> then, yes. It will be quick. You see, it's a so it's a scheme. This is what the Bible says that no man should deceive. The day shall not come except the, the there come a falling away first. We we are we are we are witnessing a serious falling away, but they are not calling it a falling away. They are calling it the revival. I hope you know that is what they are calling it. Yes, sir. They say they are seeing revival. That uh, they will tell you that. Uh, there is nowhere in the world where every month three million people gather together in the name of Christianity. That the gathering together in Lagos by an expressway is the biggest in the world. And that is the biggest end time revival. Someone even said that the, the headquarters of Christianity is Lagos now. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, they are correct. It's the headquarters of fake Christianity. <laughs> Lagos is the headquarters of fake Christianity. Mm. Factually, every church that you see in Lagos, factually everyone, including the Baptists, including the Baptists, factually everyone is fake. Factually everyone. Before you, before you, before you actually see a church in Lagos that will tell you about Christ, the true Christ. That the scheme is not about relieving you of your money. That will actually care about your soul. I mean, uh, you will walk. You will sweat before you see a single one. So there, there is now a falling away, different from whatever the world knew before. What we have been having in the last uh, maybe 50 years or so, or 100 years, what we've been having, the world really has not had detail. There have been series of um, series of incursion in, in into Christianity by the devil using various means in the last 2,000 years. But from the little that I've seen, the world has not seen what you have now. That what you are, what you are having now, you are having people like um, like Kenneth Copeland being called a man of God. You're having somebody like, uh, like uh, Joel Austin being, yeah, called, Austin is even, is even being called a man of God. Hmm. You're having people like uh, Paula White being called, uh, being called a hmm. pastor. Hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Whereas these people, what they preach, and they are Nigerian uh, accomplices, 
You're having somebody like Oedepo well, being called a man of God. What they preach is, is what is called New Age, New Thought, in the Western world. Let me tell you why they are called New Age. They were called New Age because that was when ideas from Hinduism started intruding into Western societies. Uh -huh. that, that is why they were called New Age and New Thought. New Age, New Thought were, are all basically Hindu ideas. They are all basically Hindu ideas. And these people who are basically Hindus, people like can I, can I, can I, uh, Copeland, like Kenneth uh, Hagin, like uh, E.W. Kenyon, occult people, they are enrobing themselves as pastors, as reference. And they are twisting and turning the Bible on its own head, saying that the death of Christ is about deliverance from poverty. It's about, it's about a headache. That sin is not the issue. Sin is actually, many of them, they don't even mention sin. If you are listening, to, if you are listening to Joel Austin, for example, Joel, Joel Austin does not speak about sin. About, uh, he said, he said he will you attend a uh, gay wedding now. He said it. He said he invite him. He said we will attend. Oh, fine. So, so he does not say anything bad in having a gay person. Mm. Are you with me? So, yes, so that is the falling away. What the Bible is telling you, please, I want you to pay attention to what you have in um, in fast three. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Yeah. I want you to please pay attention to what you have in, in fast three of uh, Second Thessalonians. Please yes, do pay attention to what you have there. Hmm. Let no man but deceive this... you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. I will be falling away. Huh. People like um, like Benny Hinn. Uh, yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Who openly confesses of getting his anointing <laughs> from the burial ground of Catherine Coleman of, of Catherine Coleman and Amy Semple. Are you with me? Yes, they will be they will be the authority, the accepted authority in the theology of Equa Church in Nigeria. People who openly say that they get their anointing from, from burial ground will be the one that will be teaching our pastors in Equa and in Baptist churches theology. If that is not a falling away into occultism, you have to tell me what it is. Huh. Yes, people like uh, Reinhard Bonke will now become the lead Christian. Somebody that basically all he taught all, his, all of his life was New Age was pure Hinduism, wrapped in the name of Christ. That's all. Huh. That is all. So millions of people will now flock, will now flock to, to, to such person. If that is not a falling away, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. The issue is no longer Christ, the hope, of the world. Christ, the mediator between men and God. The issue now is about miracles, about magic, about money, about prosperity. And this prosperity can come by any means. 
Are you with me? The issue is that you must you must be rich by hook or by crook. So uh, that is the falling away. Uh -huh. That is, you see, you see, people. There is something in the churches for the benefit of whoever we watch this uh, video and we'll see it later on. Let me warn everybody. There's somebody, there's a chairman seated in the pulpit in virtually every church today. That chairman is Satan. Huh. He's not refilled physically yet, huh. but he's the one in control of affairs. Huh. In virtually every church, particularly in Nigeria today, huh. he's seated. He is seated. He's not. He's not a visitor. He's not. He's not a visitor. He is seated in the chairman's seat, dishing out. Name it and claim it. Dishing out decrees. Supposedly teaching people how to decree to God, to issue decrees to God, and people don't think issuing decrees to God. Mm, some, which, some, which, which generation of human beings ever did that? Mm, some, Are you with um, me? Some, yes, sir. Some people don't. No, 50 clear. years ago, please let me finish. I will give you yes, time. Sir. 50 yes, years sir. ago, if you raise it, if you say that human beings could, 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 could decree to God, they will virtually mob you. They stone the person to death. They will virtually stone you to death in most of the local churches in Nigeria. That, you, that human beings could, could, could acquire the mouth to say that they are issuing decrees. You are issuing decrees to the Almighty. Which generation? Which generation ever did that before? Where did, you, where did you see any example of such in the Bible? But from around 1980, particularly in Nigeria, People started leaving their train professions to come out to say that they have learned new things, new ways, new theologies. Are you with me? Yes, sir. From America, generally. Yes, they said they have learned new theologies. And by, by those theologies, they were in position now to, to issue commands and decrees to God, to the Almighty. And one by one, you know, because they didn't fall down and die right there and then. Are you with me? Yes, sir. People started thinking, ah, it could be true. It could be true. And the man actually said that we should, one thing we must never miss is that we must never miss our tithes. If you want to be as if you want to be as as big and as blessed as I am, pay your tithes. There's no audit. All. There's no audit. Is the one they are paying the tithes to? Is the only one that is controlling the account, the funds? Is the only one. It's only him and his and his sons. Even when the sons are three year old. I'm five years old. I'm talking of deeper life. Huh. It's only him and his sons and his wife that are the trustees of deeper life at the age of three, at the age of four. Huh. If that is not a falling away, tell me what, what it is. Huh. About two years ago, deeper life came out to say that uh, uh, one of the, the second son has now become a Christian. <laughs> that was about two years ago. As of 2004, he was the only, he was, he, was, uh, he was one of the five people that were directors of Deeper Life in the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria. He was one of the five people that were trustees of Deeper Life, a four year old boy. Kumuyi can, could not trust any other person who, whose name was not Kumuyi to be a trustee of the life. 
So they were talking about being born again. They were talking about sin. They were talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. But they were using the styles and the methods of the devil. Are you with me? If that is if that is not falling away first, I don't know what it is. So, so that, what, what do it, so that is actually it's a, it's a special situation we are in. The situation is that the man of sin has not physically revealed himself, but he has been in power. Uh. He's been, he's been sitting. He's been sitting. If you go to the Bible and you say you don't know, you don't know, you don't know because you don't know. That is all. If you go to redeem and you say you do not see, you don't see, you don't see. That is your own problem. That is your own problem. But when the doctor brings out his rod, when he waves his uh, handkerchief, and you say you should bow down to, to the rod, or you should bow down to the handkerchief, all of you, between the other and his chiefs, the professor, and the and the one that has just uh, that is uh, hoping to matriculate, all of you, you bow down to the rods and to the handkerchiefs and so on. There's no that is the falling away, mm. and the thing is spreading throughout the world. At least you could see you could see the last interview that that I did with the, with this uh, lady from Sweden. Mm, Nico. Yes, the thing is, is spreading. Many parts of the world are being co-opted. It's spreading from Nigeria, it's spreading from America, and it's meeting up with the Catholic Church. I hope you know, you know there's a lot of uh, joint, joint, uh, joint actions between the redeemed, the Catholic Church, the, the Muslims, the Buddhists, all of them together. Because, because they are all servants of God. Are you with me? That's what they say they are. And the man of sin is yet to be revealed, has not been revealed. According to, the Bible, according to the Bible, sooner or later, the man of sin will be revealed. Are you with me? Is it, is it going to be a political or...? Yes, it, it, will be, it will be both political and religious. Oh, okay. It will be the person will be a spiritual person with political power. Uh, the kind of the kind that the world has never seen. Because that is what you have in fast four. Are you with me? Because he's going to declare himself that he's God. And he's going to sit in the temple of God and asking people to worship him. There's going to be peace between the between the Israelis, between the Jews and the Arabs. He's going to be the author of the peace. The, <sighs> peace, the peace is to allow him, are you with me, to yes. sit in the temple in Jerusalem. But as of today, are you with me? Yes, as sir. of today, his, his, uh, his tentacles, if you can see, if you only if you only you can see are you with me the cloud the yes, cloud sir. from his uh, from his entrails the cloud from his entrails from from his uh, from his dust is visible the clouds are visible everywhere yes sir because he's the one that is being preached today as god yes as god he's the one that is being preached as god you see, the way the, the, the one way it's been preached is that uh, you know, nowadays they say that uh, that we are all gods now. You, you know, some of these people that's one of the teachings that you hear in many of these uh, so called churches that, that we are gods. The only thing that we are small g, are you with me? That, mm. uh -huh. that is the teaching of the Antichrist. That is the teaching of the Antichrist. The Antichrist will see will, 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 the day he will step out into the open. He will just tell them, look, all of you, don't you, all of you, you know that you are gods. I'm, ju I'm just a little higher in the hierarchy. And then he will start doing actual miracles. He will start calling fire to come down before people. 
and the world the wall bowed down. Thank God you you are you are above thirty, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and you, are, you have seen people buying down hundreds of thousands of them buying down for for Dr. Adeboye's gown. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. Yes. So people who are already buying down for the gowns of somebody who is not doing obvious miracles. Are you with me? Mm. You can imagine what they would do when when somebody now stands up and he actually does miracles. What you have today in Redeem are uh, 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 make believe miracles. They are not real miracles. They are, they are magic and may believe miracles. When somebody who, who can perform miracles actually step forward, don't you know people will be rolling on the on the ground? I can't, I can't even imagine. Yes, that is what the Bible says. That is what the Bible says. They worship him. The whole earth will worship him. So, but it has been taken over. The, the falling away has been um, has been known for a long time. People have abandoned the true the true Christ. They continue to abandon the true Christ uh, for a long time. Uh, fraudulent people, fraudulent people, uh, have been coming forward for for about three hundred or four hundred years. Are you with me? Even mm -hmm. after the after the um, the Protestant uh, uh, revolution in the, in the Europe, fraudulent people have been coming forward with one theory or the other to explain the way the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and they've been gathering power. They've been gathering power and followership. They've been becoming, they are becoming very big, very powerful. That is what the Bible says will happen, and that is what is happening. Mm. Then, then, the man of sin, are you with me? Yes. After some time, he will step out. What I can tell every human being is that if the man of sin steps out today, he's not going to be opposed. Of course, they are. They are already. They are already worshiping him. It's just that he has yeah, they are already worshiping him. They are already worshiping him. The only thing is that he's going to step out fully. That is all. Is the one they worship in the various so-called churches in Nigeria and in many parts of the world. You go to America. You or you go to England, for example. To England, the the Anglican churches. They are fighting with one another. Which of them will be will be closer to homosexuals? Are you with me? If if you know anything about homosexuality, homosexuality is close to sat satanic worship. Yes, sir. Homo homosexuality is connected with Satan worship. Yes, sir. The BBC, the BBC, the, B the British Broadcasting Corporation is basically an homosexual uh, uh, medium. Even CNN. Yes. Oh, yes. Many of the banks in the UK, many of the big banks, are you with me? Yes, if you go to Goldman Sachs today, one of the things they ask you is whether you agree that there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. They do not only ask you whether you agree that there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. They want you to say it openly to tell everybody there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. We can even make a special day, set a special day aside and call it gay parade day. Yeah, yeah. They, have not, they, they do it in June every year. In where? Uh, June. Uh, this uh, gay, pride, to... gay pride. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Gay, gay pride. Uh, yes. Yes. So, you, you, do, you, do, you, do you get it? Yes, sir. And countries that the, they had the Bible at some point in time in the past, they are now falling over one another to promote homosexuality. 
homosexuality is connected with with the devil. One little this thing I can be. say about that before I move away is that yeah. one of the commands that God gave to Adam and Eve was that they should replenish the earth. They should be blessed and have it's children. And multiply. And multiply. And multiply. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. How 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 do how do two men calling themselves husband and wives? How do they multiply? Is it possible for them to multiply? No, sir. But in many of the societies today, particularly in the Western world, homosexuality is is part of what you must. If you want to do anything serious, you must accept it. You must you must say it is good. You must say it's good. So, whatever God said could be damned. God himself may be damned. What they want to do is what they will do. So, you now have a situation where even countries like America that uh, used to pride itself and say that it was established by Christians. Are you with me? Yes, they, are, they, are, they are current uh, Secretary of Transport, a man. He's a wife. That's the husband. That's, husband. Yes. Yeah, that's what I want to yes. say. That's the husband. Very <laughs> mad. Mad set of people. Uh, Bootleg, whatever it is called. And I believe many of those people would have who actually be gay, but they are waiting for the right time to come out. Oh, yes. Many of them are gay. Many. Many of them are gay. They are waiting for the day that uh, uh, British Broadcasting Corporation we share we we come around them, then they will declare it because because they are making um, it's it's a social approval thing. It's you know, it's something of social approval. So you can see that the world is getting worse and worse. The standard of the, the standard of the standard of godliness, are you with me? Continues to fall continues to fall until the man of sin steps out of the shadows. He's in the shadows today. He's still in the shadows. Is, is it going to be born, born like normal people or is just going to appear? Well, I, I think so. I think so. I think so. I do not know really how, he, how he's going to be, but I think he's going to be born like a normal person and he's going to be given so much power He's going to be somebody who, who, to, who totally has sold himself fully to the devil. You understand that the devil yes, will consider him his, his first son. His devil will consider him his first son, and he will infest in him power that has never been infested in any human being before by the devil. So that's what we have in the first, uh, second Thessalonians chapter two, uh, and uh, it, it, you, there's a place that you did not ask. Let me. We can read them um, uh, from verse six. I want us to read from verse six before before I close. That that same. Uh, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. From verse six to verse twelve. Okay. So it says, and now you know that. No, sorry. And now you know what we told us that it might be revealed in the in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who know who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming. Go on to twelve. Okay. Even in whose coming. Is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send okay, them. I think you should stop at 10. Okay. okay. Okay, no. Go to 12. All right, sir. In verse 11. 
And yeah. for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, mm -hmm. that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Thank you. You see how, 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 how desperate our situation is? Very, very desperate. You see how desperate our situation is? Hmm. From Pharisees, and now you know what prevents him from being refilled. What is it that prevents him now? Verse 7 says that the mystery of iniquity is already at work. It is, that is what we have been describing. The mystery of iniquity is at work. Now, people are not mm. seeing it, mm. but it's very much at work. It has been at work since the resurrection of Christ. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Verse 7 says that he who allows, we allow until he be taken out of the way. The interpretation of Christians is that the person who led is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that has been preventing the wholesale manifestation of, of Satan. Huh. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. If you, if you read um, John chapter 7, verse 39. John, John 7. Yes. Okay. John 7. Verse 39. Just read it. Verse 39. All right. But this speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that that Jesus was not yet glorified. The Holy Ghost had been given. As at the time John chapter 7, verse 39 was, re was written, the Holy Ghost had not been given. The Holy Ghost had not been given to be on the earth on a permanent yes. basis. From that time, the Holy Ghost had been given. Are you with me? And it's yes, the sir. one now that is preventing the, the full manifestation of Satan. Oh. Is it very clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, devil, the devil is not on holiday. He's working. Full blast in order to make sure people do not go to heaven, in order to deceive them about God, about the implications of their own sinfulness, about God's offer of forgiveness through Christ, through the blood, death, and resurrection of Christ. The devil has been doing overwork. They have been doing work to make sure you get to the church. Are you with me? Yes, sir. When you get to the church, they do not tell you about Christ, about, about God's offer of forgiveness. That is actually not the issue. Even though before heaven, that is the only issue. That is the only issue. Before, before God, the devil is making sure you have now pastors that will tell you everything, but never accept the truth yeah. about the truth, about the forgiveness of your sins. Hmm. I think, sir, the, the, one of the implications of this is when um, they make it look as though Jesus Christ is just another person, like they say he's just our brother. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It, 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 that's, you are correct about that. You are very, very correct. Yeah, very correct. Because if, because if you believe him as God as he is, we will not see yeah. ourselves as his brother. No. We are, we are, we if, he say, if, he, if he calls us, uh, if, he calls, if, if he calls us, say that we are brethren, his brother. Brethren, yeah. That we are his brethren. Are we foolish enough not to know that that is an act of unparalleled, unparalleled condescension? Yeah. Are we foolish to know that when, when your maker calls you a brother, you yourself, you are the height of, of pride. 
to reciprocate that language. That yeah. to, call, to, to, to call him brother too. But he won't even say that Jesus Christ is not the only son of God. Ah, ah. Which is a denier of who, of who Jesus Christ is. So they are also subtracted. <laughs> you get it? Which is a yes, which is a denier. And the moment you deny who he is, are you with me? You cannot be saved. Yes, sir. It's not possible. It's not possible. Yeah. The moment you deny his divinity, there's no hope for you. Yeah. You get it? Yes, sir. Before we close, um, verse 9, verse 10, that, that, that oh. even, even him whose come is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, it comes with all power, with signs and lying wonders. Mm. Lying wonders are what we now have in the churches. Mm. That is what we have. And look at verse 10 and verse, to verse 12. And with all the sinfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. This particular phrase, in verse 10, are you with me? We must, yes, we must highlight it. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Anybody who is, uh, who is watching this uh, program and is not, is not beating his own chest, that God will have mercy on him. Are you with me? And forgive him yes, of sir. his sins. And God, that God will remove, will remove all the planting of the devil that causes him not to be afraid about God. Because the fear of God, you must, you must retain the fear of God, whoever you think you are. Because the fear of God, what the fear of God does is that it, it, it makes you to hate sin. And it's, it's, like a, it's like the two faces of a coin. When you hate sin, you love the truth. Are you with yes, me? Sir. You receive yes. the love of the truth. Yes. When you do not hate sin, are you with me? Yes, sir. You do not have the love of the truth. So the Bible says that the devil comes with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. One way or the other, one way or the other, the devil appears to either their emotion, to their personality, to their test, to whatever, in order to deceive them. And because they like it themselves, because they like the lie, are you with me? Yes, sir. First 11 say that God shall send them strong delusion. Because they, because they do not like the truth, God is the one that shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So that they might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. For everyone that is a follower that goes to redeem Christian Church of God, verse 10 and verse 11 and verse 12 of this particular passage is for them. They hate the truth. Are you with me? Yes, sir. They hate the truth. God says that you must not have any other God beside me. That the geo says that, no, there's a small rod I have in my hand. <laughs> yes. And people, people go ahead. It's, they feel it's okay. That is, that the geo says that, no, the handkerchief, once you, once you, once you, once you rub the handkerchief on your face and you're on your way for interview. Are you with me? Yes, sir. That is, that is how you are going to make money. And they love it. They do not know by their following that geo, they are showing their dislike for the truth. And once they show their dislike for the truth, because God is looking at the heart. God is actually interested at the heart. He's looking at their hearts, and he knows that, oh, this one does not like the truth. He's calling himself a pastor. He's calling himself an elder. He's calling himself a Sikel or David or Daniel or whatever. 
and he's deceiving himself that he's a Christian. And they ask him to worship a rod, and he does. They ask him to fall down for a chair, and he does. They ask him to worship human being, and he does. Okay, then. What he's going to have is what, is, what you have in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 11. He's going to have strong delusion. That, that is what he's going to have. He's going to be so randomly deceived that, generally speaking, he's factually at the moment he's dropped into hell that is going to wake up. And by that time, it will be too late. It's too late. Because some people, some people are taking the risk of that when they are about to die, they will just say, yeah, Father, forgive me, and they will not die. I just that what? Come that again. They say, they, they, they say they, uh, just before they die, maybe they, they just say, Father, forgive me, and they will not go to heaven. <laughs> they are deceived. They are deceived. You see, no, it, it, it's part of the thing that the people do not know. Yeah. That you see, for you saying that you repent, eh? For you, for you saying that you repent, does not necessarily mean that God will forgive you. Forgiveness is an act of sovereign power of God. Yeah. And you Nobody cannot, can. you cannot, you cannot be, you cannot be clever by half on it. You are deceiving yourself. The person who is uh, who is holding your breath in his in his hand, where the day the day he asks you to turn and you don't, when do you when do you know the death will come? That is what I tell them. How do you know that? So even going to have the opportunity? When when say, you know you when do you know you have the opportunity to even say sorry? Exactly. To say you are going to repent? Exactly. God God already sees the heart. He, he know he knows you are toying with him. He knows you are talking with him. He knows that you don't you don't regard him, that you don't fear him. And and the Bible actually comments on those things that even when your own disaster comes, he too will laugh at you. That is what we have in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, yes. That when your calamity comes, he too will be laughing at you. <clears throat> if if people if anybody thinks that they can toy with God. The person is deceiving himself. The day you hear things like this, you turn to him fully, totally, 100%. If, if, if that will mean, if, it, if that will mean that your, your means of sustenance, your work, the work you are doing in uh, Redeem will be taken away from you, so be and it. you now become um, jobless, moneyless, and so on, you have, you have to decide. You have to decide. You have to decide. Many people are in that place, in many of their uh, uh, pastors and the rest of them, they have seen that this is a work of Satan. But they are blind, they have blinded themselves, saying that, well, you know, that's the only work I have. For some of them, both the wife and the husband, that's the only work they have. The, the, the husband is a senior pastor. The wife is an assistant pastor. Hmm. And they are serving Satan in redeemed Christian Church of God. So even hmm. if they see the truth, they, the devil threatens them. You know, if you, if you turn now, you will be jobless. They do not follow God. They do not follow their own souls. They would rather hold to the jobs because they are having money from it than turn to God and leave their faith in God's hand. So they so do you understand what it means that now that because they, they did not receive the love of the truth? Yes sir. That is what it means. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. God sees their heart and knows this person is reading the Bible. And he has seen that what they are doing in redeem, what Dr. Adeboye is doing, is from the devil, is from Satan. But the, this person does not like the truth, really. He thinks he thinks he can he can he can eat with the with it with the devil. <laughs> and end up in heaven with God. So the Bible, the day, the day I read this uh, verse 11. 
that it is God that sells them. Strong delusion. Not the devil. I hope you can see verse 11. Yes, sir. The Bible does not say the devil that sent them strong, de strong delusion, no. Or is it, the, is it the devil that the Bible says in your own Bible? No, sir, it's God. It's God. It's God. It's the same thing. It's not, it's not unique. If you go to Romans chapter 1, it's the same thing you see there. From Romans, Romans chapter 1, from around verse 28. It's the same thing. That God, God, because, they, because these people, they do not fear God. Are you with me? God yes, made sure that they are randomly deceived. They are randomly, totally deceived. So that they might be damned. 